family. Guys, this is per- Perseverance Makonto. And this is Renata Gude. Guys, we are so excited that you've joined us for today. While you're mm-hmm. here, why don't you give us a like on Facebook, yes. subscribe on our YouTube channel, and go follow us on Instagram. And if you're there and you want to share this word with someone, do that as mm-hmm. well. Absolutely. Like, it is so important to share the gospel because that's what it's all about. Yeah. And family, I want to take a moment to say thank you for your generosity. Mm-hmm. Thank you for faithfully sowing and partnering with online ministry. We are yeah. able to reach people in and out of the week and it's incredible that we get to do that so thank you if you need details on where to give they are on the screen guys and then get excited with us today pastor baron is bringing the word so sit back get your notes mm-hmm. ready the sermon's gonna be on fire absolutely as we look back on this tumultuous year we are truly grateful for his grace that has been with us in every situation. While we have no idea what 2021 has in store for us, we know how we will start the year with a week of prayer, fasting, and consecration. I'm pleased to announce that our 2021 theme is Awesome God. Starting with our week of prayer and consecration and continuing through the whole year, we want to focus on the greatness and the goodness of God. I want you to join us January 11 through 15, 2021, as we consecrate ourselves and seek God and know more about our awesome God. Good day, family. I trust you all are well. I have the privilege this morning to share with you a word. But what an amazing time we we are going into. And I want to agree with what Pastor Steve Morrill just shared on the video about our, our fast and prayer time going and starting in, on Monday. I really want to encourage you to join us as a spiritual family to, to pray and fast uh, for us as a spiritual family, but also for you as a family and your family members and also for the community and our country. Um, so let's use this time. Let's pray together. Let's stand together and trust God for miracles of miracles and share those testimonies. So this morning I have the privilege to share and I want to share something um, about the topic is how you start matters. Now, when we look at 2021 and, and normally this time of the year, people want to start good and they want to start strong. And, and, and I want to tell you this morning that the way you start, it will matters. So let's pray. Father, I thank you that, that this morning, this word will touch lives, will impart lives, will change lives, Lord. And I thank you that every person that will hear this will be motivated, Lord God will be encouraged, to run the race that you have set before us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. So maybe your start of 2021 didn't went so well. It, it, it started with some bumps. In, and uh, remember, uh, just after Christmas, uh, uh, our president announced that we went back to level, level three. And it feels like 2021 starts slow or maybe start with a downhill instead of uphill. And, and I want to encourage you in, in this time and, and share with you uh, the, the way you start, it matters in life. I want to ask you this question. If we didn't start with a lockdown level three, but we started with uh, no levels, will it still be the same? Will your start for 2021 be the same? So 2020 had, had ups and downs. We had the COVID, we had the lockdowns, and there were many things that we can zoom in, talk and discuss about uh, people that that we know that that got sick or people that we lost um, uh, due to COVID-19. And and 2020 was was a tough year. But at the end of this, we can start 2021 with 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 a strong and with the mindset of we're going to do great things for God together. I want to share 2 Timothy 4 and uh, 4 verse 7. It says, before I read this, is it's a Paul is in prison and it is his last words sharing um, to to the people and even the prisoners uh, in that time. And it says in verse seven, it says, "I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith." And this is what I want to encourage you this morning: is fought the good fight, finish the race, and keep their faith. What did Paul mean when when he said he had to fought? The good fight. And in the Greek word agonizomai translated fought means literally to engage in conflict. And it and, and in context it means they're competing in athletic games or they're competing in a military conflict. 
Now, currently, we might feel like, man, we are in a war right now with this COVID and, and all the challenges that we are facing. Maybe you feel you are in a battle currently in your life. Maybe it's depression. Maybe it's, it's relationship issues. Maybe it's the COVID. Maybe it's, there are so many things that you feel like, man, you are in a battle. But I want to tell you this morning and, and just reassure you that the war is already won. Jesus Christ already won the war for us. We are facing some battles today. And, and, and I'm going to touch on a, a few things that you can apply in your life to help you fight these battles on a daily basis. Ephesians 6 verse 12 it says, For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of the dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. And here we see, um, it talks about that our fight is not against each other. And maybe in this time or Christmas time or New Year time, you had to, you had to fight with, with your family members. So you had to fight with people. May we put our mindsets on 2021 that the, the fight we are fighting, the battles that we are fighting is not against people, but it's, it's, it's against the enemy. Verse 13 and 18 gives us so beautiful picture. It says, therefore, put on the full armor of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything, to stand. Here's what I want to declare over you prophetically this morning. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. It says verse 14, stand firm then with the belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breath placed of righteousness in place, and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. And then verse 18, and pray in the Spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. With this in mind, be alert and always keep on praying for all the Lord's people. As we are entering in a fast and prayer time, I really want to encourage you to pray. Set time with your family, set time with your friends and pray. Take Take, take the tools that this word is giving us and apply it in our lives and, and, and fight every battle and fight the good fight. May we fight the good fight and be watchful in all that we do. So verse, 2 Timothy 4 verse 7 says, I, will, uh, I fought the good fight. And then Paul writes, he says, I finished the race. I have kept the faith. I want to ask you this question. How would, how would your race look like? How, the race that you are currently running as, as a son of God, as a daughter of God, as a Christian, how is that race? How does it look like? Run to the end. I really want to encourage you. Run that race as if it is your last race. Never give up. Never give up on that race. Maybe some of you are feeling like oh, 2021 started, but you're sitting on the sideline. I want to encourage you. Get into the race. Get into the race of fasting and praying. Getting into the race of joining spiritual family together. Tackling, f fighting the good fight. Running the race. Are you ready? Are you in the race? Hebrews 12 verse 1 and 2 says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a huge crowd of witnesses to the life of faith, let us strip off every weight that slows us down, especially the sin that so easily strips us up. And let us run with endurance the race God has set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes on Jesus, the champion who initiates and perfects our faith. Because of the joy awaiting him, he endured the cross, disregarding its shame. Now he is seated in the place of honor beside God's throne. It says, and let us run with endurance the race that God set before us. We do this by keeping our eyes focused on Jesus. Family, I want to encourage you. In 2021, your start matters. How you start 2021, it matters. May I put our focus on Jesus. May we run that race until the end. Having eyes for not one but Jesus. Only Jesus be the focus point. The last part in verse 7, 2 Timothy 4 verse 7, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, and I have kept the faith. I want to encourage you to keep the faith. Keep your faith. Don't, don't back down. Don't get disappointed. Don't, don't lack on your, your study time with God, your word time with God. Don't lack with your family. Encourage people. Keep on pursuing 
the faith, the hope that God has given you. Let's keep our faith in this battle. Let's help each other. And here's what I want to encourage you, knowing that you are not alone. I don't know your circumstances. We as a leadership team do not know your circumstances. But I want to encourage you and tell you this morning that you, you are not alone. So I want to end with three keys when you are facing a battle. Remember when Paul was in, in the prison, he wrote, these, he wrote this by saying that I fought the good, good fight. I've run the race and I've kept the faith. And the first key is I want to encourage you in this time, beginning of 2021, going forward is loving God more. Create time as a family together where you can talk about the goodness, the, the greatness of God. Knowing that God is, is awesome and that, that by loving Him and knowing that He loved you first, remind yourselves and, and your family and the members that, that we can love God more in what you do in serving your family and serving your people. The second key that you can do is, is studying the word more. Take this word and study it. May, it. may when you speak, it comes out of your mouth and people can hear it. People can see it. Your family can hear it. And then uh, the third key is remind yourself of the promises of God. God gave us so many promises. And, and even for 2021, His promises is still good and true for you in this year. If you feel this year started slow and didn't start strong, I want to encourage you. The way it starts, it matters. And may, may we fight the battles. May we run the race. And may, may we keep our faith. I, I end with this scripture, Matthew 4, verse 4. When Jesus was tempted in, 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 the, in, the, in the desert, it says, But Jesus told him, No, the scripture says, People do not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. In the message, it says so it's beautiful, and Jesus answers, It takes more than bread to stay alive. It takes a steady stream of words from God, mouth. How you start matters. Matthew 4 verse 4 in the message says about the steady stream, and my prayer for you in 2021 is, May there be a steady stream of the words of God in your mouth, in your lives, in the way you live going forward in the way we think. Loving God more is fight the good fight. Studying the word more is running the race. And remind yourself of God's promises is keeping the faith. Remember this week coming, we're going in a fast and prayer, and I really want to encourage you to pray with us together as a spiritual family going forward into 2021. God is an awesome God. Let's pray. Father, I thank you that this word this morning will encourage each one of us that knowing that 2021 will be a great year, will be a good year, will be one of the best years of our lives. Thank you that we know that the way we start, it matters. And, and as we can, can learn from Paul, Lord God, that he fought the fight, Lord God, he ran the race and he kept his faith. May we take and apply that in our own lives. I pray for every person, Lord God, that, that's facing a battle of depression, that's facing a battle of anxiety, of, of relationship issues, Lord God, of, of COVID challenges, Lord God. I pray that, that we will run the race. Together we will stay with each other, we will pray with each other, and we will trust God for miracles to happen. I thank you for healing to come right now of those who seek that most, Lord. I pray, Lord, that us as a spiritual family, your covering will be upon us, but also, Lord, for those that really need you. Family members that don't know you, Lord God, I pray in 2021 that they will get to know you, get to, get to, to learn more of you and hear your heart, Lord God, and, and give their hearts to God. And I thank you for that. In Jesus' name, amen. Wow. wow, my wow, goodness, wow. that was such an incredible word. So, yo. Reynard, what was your take from that? Well, I just loved, I just loved it. Looking at what Paul mm. said about, you know, fighting the good fight, running the race, you know, not giving up. I'm, I'm really trusting yeah. God to lead me in what am I fighting for? And am I allowing him to go through my life and use me as a vessel, impact people through the race mm. and the fight that I'm fighting? I want to continue till the end. Sure. And I, I, I really just... Take this as an encouragement for 2021. What about you, Percy? Oh, that is so good. I think endurance in Jesus Christ yes. gives us the hope. Yeah. You know, and it's so incredible. Like, 
if this message really stirred mm. something in your heart take a moment to share with somebody Please. who needs to hear it yes. there's people that need to hear this message and i want to encourage you to share it yeah Please don't forget to share it like what he said. And then we are so glad that you joined us for this service. Yeah. We're excited for the year and we can't wait to see you next time. Bye.